Hello everyone welcome back to film recap channel how are you guys I hope you are doing well. In this video I will try to tell a storyline from a film called Survival Island. The film which was released in 2005, tells about a husband and wife who are stranded on an island with a man they did not know before. How do they survive on an island that is very far from humans? Hi at the beginning of the story, a woman with an exhausted face is seen stranded on an island then the story goes back to a few days before where there was a rich husband and wife named Jack and Jennifer and two of their friends Aka who was going on vacation by boarding a cruise ship when he got there Jack introduced his wife and two friends to the captain of the ship. Meanwhile Jennifer and her female friend saw a handsome man who apparently was one of the crew of the ship. Jennifer's female friend seemed interested in the man who turned out to be named Manuel was as well as Jennifer who was secretly watching him and unexpectedly Manuel also looked back at Jennifer with a tit for tat. But suddenly a woman came who scolded Manuel. The woman named Maria who apparently was Manuel's ex-girlfriend. She slapped the duel in front of everyone which caused when he looked at the spectacle of many people there, of course. This embarrassed Manuel until he finally slapped you back at his ex-girlfriend until the woman swore that she would destroy his life. Long story short, the night came, they were having fun on the boat with having a drink with Manuel who serves them makes Jack feel bad for being unfriendly Manuel even refuses an offer to drink together from Jack after all work is done Manuel rests by reading a book in his room while in another place Maria is seen doing a voodoo ritual using a doll straw he beat the doll which affected Manuel Manuel like slapping his nose until his nose bled. The next morning the four rich people sunbathe on their ship, served by Manuel, but Jack, who was still feeling annoyed by what? Happened last night, Manuel's bad music on the captain of the ship, so that the captain of the ship came and waited for Manuel Manuel, who had a really bad temper, did not accept Jack's complaint, his emotions peaked making him angry that he didn't realize he threw a cloth on the stove which was still burning, of course. Not long after the fire got bigger and spread, the entire ship caused it to burn, the captain of the ship tried to extinguish the fire by using an extinguisher but his efforts were too late, panic ensued forcing them all to be forced to leave the ship by boarding a lifeboat just as they plunged into the sea the ship immediately exploded hay back to Jennifer who was stranded on a small uninhabited island Jennifer who was sat on the beach saw a body floating in the ocean she immediately ran to it it turned out to be the captain of the ship Jennifer who did not know if the captain was dead trying to drag her with all her might to the beach but Jennifer couldn't stand dragging her alone until Manuel came to help her apparently Manuel was also stranded on the island. Day by day Jennifer done Manuel, who was alone on the uninhabited island, began to get to know each other and help each other. Others to survive they look for various ways to survive, from catching fish to eat together to building a makeshift shelter. The next day Manuel finds Jennifer who is sad because she thinks about her husband who has not been found and may have died. Jennifer remembers when everyone left. The boat by using a lifeboat unfortunately there was a storm that night which caused their lifeboat to capsize and make everyone separated. Manuel is seen trying to comfort Jennifer by taking her to swim together on the beach alone on the island. The same day went by Manuel who was hunting for food alone accidentally found Jennifer's husband Jack stranded on the rocks Manuel immediately helped him and took him to their hut Jennifer who saw her husband was very safe he was happy but different from Manuel who actually didn't like Jack's presence, especially because he also liked Jennifer late in the afternoon. Jack woke up from his sleep seeing his wife very close and close to Manuel when hunting for food as a husband of course he felt very jealous of Jack who was initially grateful to be saved by Manuel finally suspecting that Manuel has a hidden desire to have his wife after getting his prey. The three of them eat with Jack, who is very annoyed and jealous, starts to insinuate and vilify Manuel in front of Jennifer which in the end makes Manuel leave without eating dinner it continues into the day. Next day to make manual secession and build his own hut Jack even tells the Manuel that he promised to destroy his life as soon as they get off the island Jennifer feels very bad and uncomfortable and because of his loyalty to Jack it is against his mind that they both need Manuel's help in order to survive. Jack is arrogant and he doesn't care what his wife says he insists if he can provide for both of them but in reality it only makes it clear that Jack is not capable. Jennifer's relationship with Jack is getting worse to find food much easier for Manuel because he has a knife and diving goggles unlike Jennifer and Jack who are minimally equipped for that reason in the days of well sleep Jack secretly took all manual equipment so he could hunt fish in the ocean Manuel who realized it was very angry he really wanted to kill Jack when the man was diving to catch fish but Jennifer who knew it tried to hold him which made them both fall on the beach. Manuel who has liked Jen for a long time Jennifer even almost harassed him but what happened next was that the two of them continued to make out. Oh, afterward, the manual expressed his love for Jennifer since they first met Jennifer at first felt sorry even though she herself admitted that she also liked Manuel sometime later, Jack, who came back from hunting, brought a big fish. 
He looked at his wife who was gloomy feeling something strange Jack guessed if something was going on between Jennifer and Manuel Jennifer who couldn't lie from his face accidentally hinted at him what had happened knowing that of course Jack got angry then he dragged his wife to his house. Manuel's hut as Jack's belongings handed Jennifer over to Manuel Jack who was now alone and diving one day and found a small wrecked boat at the bottom of the shallow sea with a bra he dragged the boat with difficulty all the way to Manuel's clearing land. At first tries to help him but Jack refuses because he plans to leave the island alone by using the boat he found. Jennifer and Manuel are worried about being left alone on the island. They are planning to steal project while he is off guard. Finally, Rhyme is preparing his boat. Jack leaves for a while to look for Manuel's food. Who saw it immediately woke up Jennifer who was sleeping to immediately carry out the plan they stole the project and return leaving her alone while Manuel and Jennifer were pushing the with us Jack who saw him from a distance ran to stop them from taking the boat away but Jennifer and Manuel actually quickened their pace to immediately get into the boat and sail until they arrive in the middle of the sea. Jennifer and Manuel feel relieved that it was only for a moment that the giant managed to sail, they only realized that there was a hole in it. It turns out that Jackson just made a hole in it so that they both drowned in the middle of the sea the boat that seemed to be sinking filled with seawater made Jennifer and Manuel swim back to the uninhabited island Jack who saw Jennifer and Manuel back there was satisfied that he had succeeded in playing them both he laughed at them and then without Jack is thought to have approached and tried to attack Manuel with his wooden spear. Manuel who was not ready to try to run away, but he was hit by Jack's wooden spear who was very ambitious to finish him off chasing Manuel who ran for safety into the forest. Jennifer tried to push Jack to the ground and tried to kill him himself with a knife while Manuel took a heavy stone to destroy Jack but at the same time but in a different place Maria the ex-girlfriend of Manuel was doing another voodoo ritual high he made a curse on the straw doll who was thought to be Manuel Maria grabbed it and then made movements on the doll the curse aimed at Manuel actually happened suddenly Manuel lost his balance and fell backwards and for no apparent reason Manuel was stabbed by one of Jack's spears and died instantly. It was at the same time that Maria stabbed a vodka doll with a nail. Jennifer screamed in horror seeing everything with her own eyes. After that fateful incident, Jennifer felt dazed and shocked by the tragic departure of Manuel. She took revenge and handed JK the bag of Manuel's death. A family who was on vacation with the ship approached and dropped anchor so they could pull over on the island they deliberately went down to the beach to explore an adventure with the surrounding family who went down to the beach was surprised when they met Jennifer who was fast asleep in her hut at Jennifer, who was still a bit dazed and preoccupied with Manuel's death then recounted that she was a survivor of a shipwreck and had been stranded on the island for months without accident. Jennifer didn't mention her husband at all even though Jack was still on the island but he remembering Jack's treatment that forced her to live with him since Manuel's death Jack's rude attitude made Jennifer decide to leave her family who heard her story sympathized with her and then rescued her Negan immediately took her away as the ship left Jennifer Island who was sitting relaxed in the back watching Jack was hunting Jack who saw him trying to wave and call out to him but Jennifer didn't care. Jennifer even stole Jack's match so he couldn't start another fire. Jennifer finally managed to get her revenge on him. Jack by leaving his husband alone on the uninhabited island who knows how long he will be there and the film ends.